Welcome to the Stoppage Time edition of the Pitch to Pro podcast. This is a highlight reel of some of the best moments from the show so far, and every other week we will be bringing you a special five to seven minute segment featuring the best stories, tales, and moments of the podcast. This name drastically went up the list, and it was really loved by, I think it was 90% either had this name after Mission Vision Values, first or second tied over 90, 95%. And I don't Crazy. know if that was the case if we didn't do Mission Vision Values. In the panel? Or, uh-huh. Yeah, the fan no, it's panel. Pretty, it was pretty clear. Yeah. But one thing that's interesting for a lot of folks that maybe you know, in the community, we're all working in the supplier community or big companies or manufacturers. And every one of these big companies has mission, vision, value statements, right? Yeah. I worked a big company for 15 years. I couldn't tell you what ours was, right? And we didn't live it. You, it was a statement, it was a piece of paper. And probably a lot of people feel like that when they think about larger corporations. And so I went in a little bit like, yeah, in the back of my brain, do we, do we really need this now versus when we're, having an organization of people in place, right? And I was, I mean, I was way off. Like, yeah, we didn't need it. (laughs) And we needed it at that time because that was a guiding light. That was a direction that was also bringing in the community, letting them know where we were going and why we were doing what we were doing, right? The why is really important there. And I think that always just helped us as we sort through 2000 name submissions and colors and crests and all these options and shapes and everything that always helped us be the guiding light. So we really, I would commend our group that we lived it, you know, we really did live that. Um, and we still do. So, yeah. And you guys helped us refine our, our kind of questions that we were asking the community too in our public surveys after we got, you know, mission, vision, values and, and you know, building on a lot of what we had asked in the community uh, listening sessions. And, you know, Warren, you've done this multiple times and you made sure to, you know, ingrain in me and the team as we went through that process. Don't just ask them about soccer. Honestly, that's more secondary. What we want to do is ask them why they love the area. Why do they love Northwest Arkansas? What connects them to Northwest Arkansas? And also, what are some challenges? Well, let's talk about that because, I mean, there's a reason for that. And a lot of people don't really, I think, fully understand, Mm -hmm. right? So um, what we're trying to do when we're having, you know, where we're pointing people in that direction is to understand uh, that we're trying to understand emotions, Yeah. right? So um, emotions are what drives us as human beings, right? So words really don't matter. It's, you know, how the words actually drive us. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, it's really important to understand, um, because also while we're, I'm not from here full time, you guys aren't originally from here. Um, we need to really understand kind of the DNA of the, of this area, right. And then be the biggest homers for this area. So how can we be big homers? Mm -hmm. How can we be the biggest cheerleaders if we don't understand the emotions? Right. So it was really about an emotional driver to really, you know, ask and second note, We will get the soccer fans. I guarantee you, we will have all the soccer fans. They may not come to every game, but they're going to come to a lot of them. Um, And we need to we need to actually educate and get the other people. Once we get them into a match, it's so electric, they'll fall in love with the game. But if we're not talking about all the other things that's important to them, then we're you know we're 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 a symbol without ears. If that makes any sense, Mm -hmm. you know, just we need to help all the other people understand kind of why they love this area. And then this, let this be a tool for them too. Yeah. Hence the leading name was what, when we first started <laughs> quality, quality, quality life, life FC. FC. Yeah. <laughs> and which I don't know if we've ever seen a, or heard the, the feedback of uh, potentially that being a football club name, but <laughs> you know, if we could have, that maybe would have been the, the driving thing if that was not just so out. It was the beginning of digging but, into the emotions that we discovered that, right? It was just at the tip of it. Cause it's, it's so easy for people to say that, right? I love living here. It's a great quality yeah. of life. We say it every day. It almost takes it for granted in a way, but it really was a universal yeah. theme. And then it was to Warren's point, like, all right, we got to peel that onion much deeper. Yeah. Which we did. And it was great. And it came out. I think the other big theme that was just resounding was the overwhelming natural beauty that we have here. That's just right out our back door. The the hidden gem, the, the magic of this place. Yeah. It's not just that it was being active in it. That's right. That too. 
Yeah. yeah. The biking and hiking and walking and swimming. And I mean, yep. all angles of it. Yeah. And I think active, if you really wanted to peel it down, um, active could be a good word for all three that we found. So nature was one. People wanted to be active in nature, but they also wanted to be active in their community. Yeah. And that was a really big thing. And then the third one we saw was an excitement of tomorrow. And they wanted to be active in building that. So I think active is a key word. If you wanted a word to tie all those together, together, active. And that was really cool to see. And that's another thing. And, and Warren, you've talked about this too, is how soccer clubs can be a tool to activate uh, a population and, and communities and give them a vehicle on how do they become active. Yeah. So well, if you think about it, any company can. It's just that we're able to draw more people because we have, you know, we're just a little bit more, you know, not every day, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. You know, I think the one back to the community input, input mm -hmm. though, uh, wasn't it interesting too where, because for the record, I ax, I loathe the name United. I really do. It's just overused. It's not, um, I, of the clubs that actually use it, that's really not, maybe it's more United than their soccer fandom, but mm -hmm. here it was really a, how do, um, they're, the, the people told us, how do we actually unite our community, right? We've got a bunch of communities here that really, are cool, but they're so much more powerful together, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, what I really loved about this whole process because it, you know, I had to come, I had to learn to love the name because it made so much sense, right? And it was the active, you know, verb or whatever of uniting the community that's together, right? right? And right. so it, I think that that's <clears throat> where, and you even saw this online too. Um, you know, we, we've see, we received just overwhelmingly positive feedback from, you know, so many in the community and abroad even. Um, and I think, you know, you're never going to please everybody. So everybody, you know, that's always going to be the case and that's okay. Um, people are entitled to their opinions, good and bad, and that's totally fine. But it was interesting to see that, you know, for anybody that may have said, you know, oh, another United, right? Because it is overused in the, in mm -hmm. soccer. Here, and it's, it just speaks to the difference that you just said, Warren, which for you helped you come around on the name, is what it is actively doing and the meaning behind it. I think that that's one of the things that I really, I already knew as a big soccer fan, but crests and names are great, but the stories behind them are almost either as in my opinion, maybe sometimes even more so important to help understand the, the crest itself and, and what the club's about. Thank you for joining us for this stoppage time special of the Pitch to Pro podcast. If you've enjoyed the conversation, you can click watch the full episode here. Be sure to tune in next Thursday for a new episode of the Pitch to Pro podcast, the official podcast of USL Arkansas. Available on YouTube, Instagram, and everywhere you get your podcasts.